Hi, my name is John from Drive Medical's Technical Service Department. Today I want to show you the basics of using a digital multimeter. Although the multimeter has several different types of scales you can use, we're going to concentrate today on just using two of the scales that you'll be using the most. Okay, normally we're going to use two scales. It's going to be the resistance scale and the volts DC scale. But I just wanted to point out first the volts AC scale. Most of the time you're never going to use it, but that's used if you want to measure your line voltage coming out of the wall because it's done in AC, alternating current. Now the, the scale we want to measure voltage with is going to be your DC volts. It's going to be on your meter depending on the meter that you have. It is going to be a V with a straight line or dotted line. It may say VDC, volts DC, or DCV, DC volts, direct current voltage. I just want to point out that if you are not sure of the voltage that you're going to be reading, start out with a higher scale. The reason for that is if you start out with a too lower scale, you're going to find that the meter is going to protect itself because it's reading over voltage and you won't get a true reading. So start at a higher scale and work your way down and it'll be more accurate the lower you can go. Now, for example, I want to show you measuring a battery voltage. Um, if, we, if we start out, we'll go to the, we'll first turn on the meter and this is showing we're on the AC scale so we don't want to do that. We want to go to the DC scale and we'll start at a higher voltage at the 200 volt scale. What we're going to do now is take your positive lead, the red lead, and put it on the positive terminal of the battery. We're going to take the negative lead, the black lead, and put it on the negative terminal of the battery. Here we're reading 12.4 volts. Let's measure the other battery. And notice I'm putting it on reverse polarity. That will not hurt the meter. The meter is only going to show a negative just to tell you that you've got reverse polarity. So we basically have 12.4 volts on one battery and 12.5 volts on the other battery. The next scale we're going to work on is going to be your ohm scale. Now what that is, is, a, is the resistance of a circuit. You can use this scale for a bunch of different things. One of them is, is to measure continuity. If you want to see if you've got a broken wire or a blown fuse, a blown circuit breaker, or some open circuit somewhere. The other way you can use the ohm scale is going to be to measure a potentiometer, measure a motor brake, or you can measure the motor armature. Let's give it a try. First thing I want to do is, after I point out, it can be shown in several different ways. One of the ways is an upside down horseshoe, which indicates ohms, or it just may say ohms, depending on the meter that you have. All right, so now we're going to move it into the ohm scale. And for example, we're going to put it on the 2K, which is 2,000 ohms. Now you want to check continuity. You touch the meter leads together first. And it should go to zero. That tells you that you have a complete circuit with no resistance in it. We can use that to check a fuse, for example. If you're not sure if the fuse is good or bad, you take first, you touch your leads together to make sure that you have it on ohm scale and that the meter is working. You touch one terminal to the one, one lead and then you touch the other lead to the other terminal and it goes to zero, which is the same as touching the two leads together. That means that we have a good fuse. We can use this to measure motors or brakes. I want to give you a practical demonstration of how we use the multimeter 
to troubleshoot a problem with a power scooter or a power chair. Here we have the electronics for a cobalt power chair, all laid out on the board so you can see how it works. Let's try using the chair now. We turn the on button on and it's not going on. Something is wrong, we have a dead circuit. So what we want to do is try and trace what's wrong. Since we have a dead circuit, the first thing we want to do is see if we have power starting at the batteries. So what we'll do is we'll turn our meter on and set it to the DC 200 volt scale because we know that the battery pack, if it's fully charged, is at least 24 volts. So the first thing we want to do is we can check over here, we can check that the batteries are good or not. Here we have 12.4 volts on the one battery. The other battery, we have 12.4 volts. That tells us that both batteries are good. Let's check to see if we're getting output of the battery pack since these two batteries are wired in series. What we're going to do is plug the one lead into the connector, the other lead goes into the connector, and we have zero, no voltage. That means that we have an open circuit somewhere. Let's look at the fuse. And we take the fuse out of the fuse holder, and now we want to check continuity. So what we'll do is we'll take the ohm scale, let's put it on 200 ohms. And the first thing we want to do to make sure that the ohm scale is working and that the test leads are working, you touch the leads together. And it should go to almost zero, zero or almost zero. And then we'll touch one test lead to one blade of the fuse and the other test lead to the other blade of the fuse. And we're getting nothing, no change. We still have infinity. That's telling us we think it's an open circuit. So we touch the leads together just to make sure. All right, that goes to almost zero. And we touch it again to the other blade and we have infinity. That means that we have an open fuse. Let's take another fuse and just test that. Always test the other fuse before you put it in. Sometimes a fuse might look good, but it still might be bad. It might mechanically have a problem. Let's touch the two leads together again, and they go to almost zero. Touch the lead to the other blade, and we get the same reading. When you have continuity, it's, it would be the same reading as if you touch the leads together. Now, let's take this fuse and put it back into the circuit. Now, we'll take our meter and check the voltage again. So we take our DC meter to the 200 volt scale again, and let's measure and see if we're getting power out of the power pack. We're getting 24.9 volts, and that looks good. So what we're going to do is plug the power pack back into the chair, and we're going to turn it back on. And we hear the motors running, we have a working power chair. And that's the basics of how to use a digital multimeter for troubleshooting and what the scales do.